Today we are back in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're starting out first with St. Christenborg's Palace. Then we're going to see underground the ruins of the old castles and palaces, the royal stables. We're going to see the royal horses being trained. Well, actually, you can see them coming right by right now. And then we're going to go to Glipotech Museum, which was donated by Carlsberg. Yes, the brewery back in the 1800s. And then we're going to finish off the day with looking at the Danish jewels. So apparently, apparently before you go into the palace, you have to put the blue things on your shoes. I guess they really care about being clean and I would love that. And this is the tower room. And just look at how gorgeous the piano is. And there's just a lot of brown color in here. This is the throne room, which was actually saved in the 1884s during the fire. The one with the lion was actually where the king would sit, but the bigger one is where the queen would sit with the griffins. That's, huh, you didn't, I wouldn't expect that. I would think the king would want the larger chair, the larger throne. <sighs> Y'all know how I love my ceilings. And looking at this one, it is beautiful. Look at all those Danish flags. Wow. I don't know why, but the horse does not look very happy. This is the Great Hall with so many beautiful tapestries lining the walls. But they have these seats here where you can just sit down, you can enjoy, and actually take in the art. Because I feel like a lot of these art pieces have a modern touch slash twist to them. And then even looking up at the ceiling, just taking in all of the art that's around you. It really is magnificent. Like, even just looking at this one, I have never seen something like that in a palace. There's even a symbol that has Hitler in it and has an X over the Nazi symbol. Oh, man. I feel like I keep telling y'all every place is my favorite place in Denmark, but this palace is very beautiful. I like this great hall. All right, so you actually can see the ruins here too under the castle, under the palace. Y'all really do need to come see the ruins. The ruins underneath Christenburg's palace really show you what was here before the palace was here. Starting in the 1100s when the first castle was here, the castle was made of limestone. And a lot of the castles burned down over demolished. But for over a thousand years, there has been a castle or a palace here showing the power of the kingdom of Denmark all the way to the modern day. One of the other things too about this palace that's cool is the fact that you can see the horses, you can see the trainers training them on the daily, literally right in front of the palace. I don't know about y'all, but this just takes me back to the 1500s. So you guys actually can come in to the stables and see the horses, the, my bad, sorry, the royal horses. Carlsberg Glipotech is an art museum that, that focuses on ancient sculptures from the Mediterranean, so Rome, Greece, and Egypt. A lot of the exhibits in there were donated by Carl Jacobson, the son of the founder of the Carlsberg Brewery. Now this was donated in the late 1800s, and it's just crazy that a rich family like that was giving back to the people of Denmark. Wow. When you first walk into this place, it is something else. It feels like, this doesn't even feel like a museum. There's just palm trees everywhere. There's a cafe. You're welcome with a beautiful statue of a queen. Just, and in the ceiling, just, just gorgeous. So this is the first room, ancient Egypt. I just find it, you know, hmm, crazy that things from ancient Egypt are here in Denmark because a rich man in the 1800s bought them. And people still do that today, buy art on the black market. And anyways, I'm glad that this stuff is here and donated to the public. For all the people saying there was no black pharaohs in ancient Egypt, there were black pharaohs. Okay, now let me show you all my favorite statue in here. This is probably my favorite sculpture slash statue. Just, and in reading it, it says that the long sleeve garment that she's wearing, so this is 
representation of the god of theater. And then she is Melipone, the muse, the muse of tragedy. And you can really see it on this man's face. Definitely. Definitely a tragedy. If you love sculptures, the Glypho Tech Museum is definitely your place. There are sculptures all over. Okay, I found the I found the coolest room. And there's sculptures everywhere. The floor looks amazing. There's columns with Carl's name on it. Just look at all these huge sculptures. Like how did this man even get all these back in the day? Like I know he's rich, but it's just how did Carl get all of these sculptures, all these pieces of art? Like I understand he was a rich man, but this is just this really is gonna throw you back into the Roman days, the Greek days. Well, I guess can't really throw you back since we've never experienced those days, but this place is just gorgeous. This museum is so large. It's huge inside. So when you come here, you're gonna need to spend at least three, two, three hours, three hours. Sadly, last time I was here at Rosenberg Castle, I didn't get the chance to see the royal jewels, but this time we're going to see them so we're not going in the castle today, but if you wanna see the castle, I made a video already about Rosenberg Castle, so just click this link right here and you'll be able to watch it. The crown jewels are so stunning inside. When you're going down into the basement of the castle, there is actually a vault door, like they're very serious. And then you see the crowns and you see the necklaces and they're like glistening, like shining, like real diamonds, real jewels here. Apparently Queen Margaret II does wear some of these jewels from time to time on special occasions but when you're leaving the vault there's like a special door that opens up and then you just follow it out like